uh, some somewhere in the body in some parts of the body circulation is little bit altered because common theme is that arterial side arterial system should bring the blood to the tissue then there should be capillary exchange area and then venous system should be the drainage this is what is happening in most areas of the body but some parts of the body circulation is not following the simple rule what is the simple rule systemic arteries bring the blood then there are systemic capillaries and then blood drained by systemic veins right now what is the normal artery capillary and vein this is a normal arrangement right in some part of the body it is changed for example from aorta by artery arterial system blood is brought to git right when blood come to git this is the arterial blood which is coming to git then within the git lining it break down into smaller capillaries it will break down into yes what capillaries and then these capillaries will unite together and make a vein now up to now it looks like normal system that arterial system is bringing the blood within the git there is breakdown of arterial system into capillary system and capillary system uh, reunite to make venous system up to now it looks like normal standard thing of course why there are capillaries here from the git they will absorb the glucose and amino acids and other nutrients normally veins should go eventually into progressively larger veins than vena cava but here there is a modification this vein will go to the liver and in the liver it will again break down into yes capillaries it will again break down into capillaries and these capillaries will again come together and make another vein and that vein will go and drain into cable system now this is a modified circulatory pattern right what is this modification that between one capillary set attention please between one capillary set and the next capillary set there is a vein in between right this site of this type of modified system is called who will tell me where one capillary set you know one capillary set which is receiving the blood from arterial system goes into vein but vein is not progressively going into larger vein this vein again break down into another set of capillaries you know why the special arrangement is there because glucose and amino acids which are taken from the git they should be brought to the liver and the liver again they break down to special capillaries called sinusoids and there liver cell can act on the glucose and amino acids and after that substances will go to systemic circulation this type of circulation is called portal circulation what is it called portal circulation another example of portal circulation in your body another example of portal circulation which is portal circulation means the circulation which is not following the simple rule simple rule is arterial input capillary exchange venous output but here there is unusual thing arterial into capillary to vein from here vein again break up into capillaries and then recollection of vein and then eventually major vein any other portal circulation in your body yeah in the kidney uh, how come in the kidney who will tell me what kind of portal circulation is present in the kidney i'm about to be impressed by someone okay i will make nephron so that you feel comfortable let's suppose this is a very special epithelial tubes in the kidney which are busy in making urine right these epithelial tubes are called yes please nephrons in one kidney you have how many nephrons 1.2 million you million are as far as nephrons are concerned right so two two kidneys mean 2.4 nephron 2.4 million nephrons oh my god so you have nephrons actually renal artery will bring the blood should i make kidney here okay no i'm going to make a nephron here right from here the urine will go down now this structure i'm drawing here right i've taken this kidney and put it over here now look this is blood coming through renal artery which break down into smaller arteries and eventually 
very small artery which supplies this part of the nephron this is called this artery is coming to the nephron it is called afferent arteriole afferent arteriole break down into capillaries small capillary loops of capillaries and through this capillary fluid is filtered into this tube and then all these capillaries should recollect and break down and recollect into which vessel not vein this is unusual thing it recollect into another artery or it's an unusual thing blood is coming through an arteriole breaking into capillaries and now capillaries reunite to make another arteriole it's very unusual <laughs> is that right and then these arterioles this is afferent arteriole and this is called efferent arteriole there's afferent arteriole and efferent arteriole then what happens again this arteriole breaks up into capillaries and then eventually the second set of capillaries will go into venous side larger veins progressively and eventually going back through renal vein so now you see in the kidney what is the pattern arterial system giving giving eventually afferent arterioles afferent arteriole give a this capillary bed which is called glomerular capillaries glomerular capillaries into efferent arterioles efferent arterioles into another set of capillaries the, what is this set of capillaries called this set of capillaries around the tubule so we call it peri tubular capillaries peri tubular capillaries and then into eventually venous drainage system now this is also an unusual pattern that here between the two capillary sets there is an arteriole here between the two capillary set there was a venous segment this is also a portal system right this is another example of portal circulation am i clear right okay so we can make it like this that afferent arteriole bring it here and this is glomerular capillaries and these capillaries break come into efferent arteriole and then second set of capillaries here and then eventually break down collect into vein any question up to this there is no question everything is clear <laughs>